I am in the end of Doug, and this is the steel MS362C. Some say it's a turd. Let's find out. you didn't see me hit the dirt right there.
Okay, so <clears throat> my thoughts are it's a it's a bit heavy. It, I mean, it is. It's, it's heavy for its power. You know, it's a it, 59 something cc saw, 60 cc saw. Let's just say, and uh, um, it's a bit heavy. You know, you get in just another little bit, and you're 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 as far as weight goes and you're up to the 462 but 462 is a lot more money too so you know there's that for firewood for a person who's going to do a lot of firewood a lot of firewood cords and cords a year this is a great saw you know i can only relate to my world my world is firewood you know falling you know a dozen or two trees a year at the very most and you know and firewood this saw has never let me down one time i've had it for probably five years always starts never has an issue with anything you know you keep the air filter clean and i don't think i've changed the spark plug in this thing since i've had it i'm not kidding you <laughs> probably should do that um i've tried I, when i first got it, it had a, a 24 inch bar on it and that was the stock bar and I think that's a bit much. I really do. I think it's a bit much. It can pull it. You know, again, this is completely stock. There's no muffler mod, anything to it. So, but uh, again, you know, for, for, for high production firewood, this thing will go and go and go and go and go. It's a fantastic saw for that. Um, so... As far as quality goes, it's really hard to beat this compared to like a what 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 what's the range uh, in like a, a homeowner farm saw like a 291, 271, 291, isn't it? So you know, there's no no comparison, you know, uh, you know, in my opinion, um, you know, for the for the extra money, you you get a lot better saw, very good quality saw, you know. You get the mag cases, you get the, all the features of a pro saw. I don't have to tell everybody what that is. You know, it's not a bad saw. You know, I know everyone calls it a turd, and I think it's because they're comparing it to, you know, power to weight. And again, I, I can't disagree to that. The, the power to weight is not super good. I mean, again, you just go up a little higher and get the 462 and tons more power, you know, but... Um, but as far as quality, you know, it's, it's hard to beat, you know, it's hard to beat in this, in, you know, 60 CC range, it, you know, it is, but, uh, you know, it's not, I'm just going to be honest, it's not an Echo 620, okay, you know, it's, it does not have the torque like a, like an Echo 620, I don't even think it has the torque like a 590, to be honest, but it's got the RPM, you know, so as far as limbing and smaller wood, you know, this, this saw would shine versus say like a 620 or 590. But you know, when you get in a little bit bigger wood, you you know, those, like the 620 is gonna pass it right up in power, but it's not a tur. I don't think it's a tur. I think it's a great saw. Um, it, you know, I mean, it's not that heavy. It's, it's a chainsaw, you know, a 60cc chainsaw. I don't know what you'd expect, but you know, I mean, it's, it's, it's a chainsaw. It's going to have a little weight to it. So <laughs> anyway, I just, you know, there's so many people out there who just bash this saw and it's a great pro model saw. Um, and you know, and the price range is for a pro model saw is, well, it's a steel, so, you know, it's not going to be cheap, but you know, compared to a 462 and a 500i, I mean, you know, this is cheaper. And so anyway that's that's just my opinion on it all let, let me know what you guys think down in the comments um 
you know, good or bad, I don't care. You know, I I got a really good deal on this saw, so you know, I, I'll I'll tell you right now, it's not my favorite saw, <laughs> but you know, it's a good saw. It's a really good saw, and and the quality is unparalleled. I mean, still made a good quality saw. I wish they would have just reinvented the 361, but they didn't do that. They, you know, they didn't. They, they, they went the other way with the electronics and all that. And now you got the 400C and that, that just smokes this saw. But, you know, it's a lot like this saw. It's built the same and everything. A lot of uh, parts are compatible. So that's odd, but, you know, um, again, you know, you're gonna pay for a 400 too. But anyway, that was my little assessment on the 362C by Steel. Let me know what you guys think.